I am a broke young man in college. But thankfully, the YouTube checks have came in, and I have just the right amount of money to get myself $8 worth of food. With $8, I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree and see just how much I can get and whether or not the food is good. That's right, kids. Today, we're trying Dollar Tree food, and we're gonna see if it's actually pretty good. I am terrible. So this is what $8.50 will get you at Dollar Tree as a full meal. I'm talking three entrees, one dessert, and one drink. So let's start with our first entree. Hello and welcome to Grayson's Cooking Channel. If the audio quality is bad, that's because it is. For our next course, we'll be having the Golden Crust Jamaican Style Jerk Chicken Patty Chicken Turnover. The instructions as follow. Open the end of the wrapper. Heat microwave for two minutes. Eat. Let cool for a minute and enjoy. Let's see how it tastes. Now I'm gonna be honest, I love Jamaican food, but this is kind of scary. It has like a crumbly texture to it, but it also is like yellow like Cheetos and it's kind of greasy and it has a very funky smell to it. So not super pumped to tr try this, not gonna lie, but here we go. Uh, really dry to it. I wish I had some sauce, like some Jamaican sauce. It's not bad. I definitely only got like the crust there. So I'm gonna try to go more in the middle. Huh. Huh. You know, I was kind of worried because it only cooked for two minutes that I wasn't gonna be fully cooked. But it is piping hot huh. in the middle. And honestly, it's soft, it's crumbly, it's buttery. The chicken like doesn't taste bad. It kind of tastes like beef, which is confusing me. <laughs> I will say, when you look at it, it's not a pretty sight. <laughs> it kind of looks like someone shit inside of this crumbly thing. And that's what I'm eating. That's what it kind of looks like. I mean, if you close your eyes when you eat it, and you don't think about where it came from, it's actually not bad. I would give this... I'll give it a 525. Here's the thing. Like, I would eat this if it was given to me. But I can't say that I can see myself thinking... I want more of this, if that makes sense. Do you know what I'm saying here? But it's not bad. Not bad at all. On with the next entree. To start off today's episode, we're going to be having the Celeste Pizza for One. The instructions as follow. Preheat oven to 400. Remove pizza from wrapper. Place on baking sheet and bake from 14 to 20, 16 minutes. Handle carefully, it's hot, and check the food is cooked thoroughly to 1. 165 degrees. Enjoy! Because this one will be taking longer than most of the other items we'll be eating today, I'll be putting this in first. Let's see how it tastes. Okay, starting off with looks. This thing doesn't look half bad. None of the cheese really melted. It's just kind of cubes along with the pepperoni. There is a healthy amount of pepperoni and sausage on top of this. The cheese is a little sporadic and so is the sauce. They didn't really Give me too much of that, but it kind of just looks like a Totino's pizza at the moment, and that's all right. You know, I'll try it. I'll dabble. Celeste pizza for one. Ah. You know, it tastes like someone got a piece of cardboard. They put some ketchup on top of it and then sprinkled some cheese and then layered it with with pepperoni and sausage. It's not bad. I mean for a buck twenty-five, you know, I can't complain too much about this. Like that's a good deal. This could feed me. This is a good snack, at least. Like. Oh. Hmm. That sauce is not helping though. It's not there's not much there. It's just kind of savory. Ah. Huh. Celeste pizza for one. I'll give it a. I might give it a 4.25. Not bad. The Jamaican patty was so much better. The Jamaican patty will feed me. And, and it was pretty good. As long as you don't look at it. This one looks good, but it doesn't taste as good. So well, I don't know what that tells you. On to the next entree. For our final course. For our final course. 
For our final course meal of the day, we're going to be having the Imperial Garden Extra Crispy Lobster Egg Roll. Mmm. The instructions as follow. Remove sauce packet from egg roll wrapper. Thaw frozen egg roll with open wrapper in microwave oven for 45 seconds. Then preheat oven to 40 degrees. Remove wrapper prior to heating. Place egg roll on a cookie sheet and bake for seven minutes. Let's see how it tastes. Now this entree claims to have lobster and I got it for a dollar and 25 cents. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Let me look at the ingredients. Lobster meat, it's on there. Wow, would you look at that? It actually has lobster in it. And it's included sweet and sour sauce as well. I'll be trying it along with it. And keep in mind, I'm taking all of these directly out of the microwave or oven. So these are like served at their peak performance. I'm giving all of these their best chance. And so far, none of them have beat 10. So we could have a 10 here. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Very crunchy, very crispy. Give it a little dip. Oh. Oh! Woo! Wow. Hold on. Oh. You know what this screams? I'm going to get incredibly sick tomorrow morning. This tastes bad. It doesn't taste like the fish inside have been kept at the proper temperature, which judging by the price probably is true. It, it does taste like lobster from like two years ago. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, you know, that's gonna have to be a, a, a 0.25. You know, just as bad as when they changed the pricing from $1 to $1.25. Uh, this is a crime. I hate crime. This is, this is rough. If you see that in the market, don't, don't go for that. Oh, yeah, that was, yeah, that was bad. If you happen to still be watching, first of all, thank you for watching and thank you for being here. I'm Grayson Off, your host, and I would like you to subscribe. Bitch. When you comment and you like the video, you help me as a very, very small creator. Please help me. For the love of God, I need help. Please, I'm crying every single night. The only reason this video's limit was $8 is because that's all I could afford. So if you want to support small creators like me, simply like, comment, and subscribe and be there. Please. With that... Go on with your video. On to the final meal of the day. Well, actual food. And for our bonus dessert of the day, we have half-priced marshmallow peeps, yellow. The instructions as follows. There are no instructions. Peeps were on sale, and uh, you know, I haven't had these in a while, and I wanted to give them a shot as an adult with the fully developed palate. I thought I'd be able to be able to truly judge whether or not I like peeps because I thought maybe maybe I was wrong. You know, maybe I've been wrong the whole time about peeps. So let's give them a shot. Isn't that lovely? 50 cents for this. So I, I think I, I run online. You're supposed to eat them like in the row, like a like all at once. I think it's how you're supposed to eat them. And that's probably why I haven't been liking them as much. Uh, you're supposed to, I think it's... Uh, no, that seems wrong. Maybe it, maybe roll it, but I feel like rolling it would ruin the... I think it's just gotta go. Hmm. Hmm. Mmm. 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 Mmm.
Mm. Yeah, it's a lot of sugar. <clears throat> but, you know, flavor-wise, not bad, actually. A lot better than I remember, if I'm being completely honest. I thought those were way worse. You know? Uh, for a marshmallow candy and a dessert, you know, uh, I think I'm going to have to give that a good 7.25. That's pretty good. That is a steal, especially for 50 cents. I might have to go back. I think I have a couple of dollars left in my change drawer. So all in all, with the ranking, that leaves us with... Wait. There was one more. And finally, as the drink with our meal, we have... Hostess Twinkies Artificial Flavored Iced Latte. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> Let's see how it tastes. Uh, I didn't even know they made this until I saw it. I am not pumped, actually. I'm not going to lie to you. This, uh, this looks... I don't like Twinkies. <laughs> I also hate iced canned lattes. So... I don't think this is going to go well. You know what? What can you do? You have a good crack? Oh. <laughs> it's creamy. <laughs> it just... <laughs> it just smells like icing. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm sure it's not that bad. Right? It can't be that bad. Oh, oh, it's so much worse than I can imagine. Oh, it's still in my mouth. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh that's worse than the lobster roll. Oh, it, 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 it tastes like a candle. It tastes like, like I just drank a candle and it's, it's coated my mouth completely. I'm, oh, I don't know how to get that taste out of my mouth. I might be tasting that for hours, dude. The pizza does not get better after a while. Turns out. Ugh. 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 Get that zero. Zero, no points awarded whatsoever. Not even the 25 cents. That is probably the worst thing I've ever had in my entire life. Genuinely, wow, that was bad. And with that, folks, that is trying. What is the title of the video? That is my full course meal from Dollar Tree. Thank you. Have a good night.